so um, how does it feel to be back in June after uh, after your past? Well, so it's my first time coming here since 1987. Oh, wow. So it's 36 okay. years, and it feels right. very special. And what I love about this is what stays the same and what's changed. Change is always the constant in our lives. And to see Dune continue to evolve and change and grasp the moment, uh, that's always had and created such a generation of leaders and service. And that that is still so imbued in the culture. I'm delighted to see it still exists. So what's something that you've seen on campus which you don't like anymore? Anyway? I haven't really, I haven't seen, I haven't seen anything that I don't like. I will say that I've been very impressed by the quality of the students. I had the pleasure of sitting at lunch today in the same central dining hall that I used to sit in and talk to some of the students and the questions that they asked were, were very similar to the questions I would have asked. And uh, I, I owe everything to Dune and then I went from Dune to Muskingum University, which, and that connection has stayed very true because for me, it, it's been, uh, it's been a continuous journey. Uh, I started my journalism career over here, uh, editing the Dune School Weekly. Uh, and just like you're the editor now, uh, I was the editor in 1986. And I started my career over here. And I found they have my old file uh, from archive. when I was in the archive. Oh. And it, it includes my applying to Muskingum and my interest in journalism. And it's the spark started over here, but it continued while I was at Muskingum because I became the editor of what's called the Black and Magenta, which is their version of the Dune School Weekly. That's their newspaper. So does that come out every week as well? It comes out every week. And uh, it's, a, it's a weekly publication. And uh, I got that job as the editor of the Dune School Weekly. Uh, because, the editor of the, because I was editor of the Dune School Weekly, that made me qualified to apply to be editor of the Black and Magenta. And so I feel I owe a lot to both Dune and Muskingum because it really sparked that intellectual curiosity and that desire for me to really start my career in communications and media. And I spent 25 years there, but it all started over here and it continued in my journey in Muskingum. So um, if you don't mind, could you please tell me one or two differences between the Dune School Weekly and the Black and Magenta? Like what, sure. what, what I, do you I think, want to do differently? I think every editor puts their own mark and yeah. their own stamp on every publication. And I think uh, at the Black and Magenta, we try to make give it a little more fun. When I was there, we tried to give it a little more of an edge. Uh, and we started doing some more investigative work. We started doing some more interesting enterprise reporting. Uh, and uh, in some ways, that's what convinced me to become a journalist back then. And so I went to graduate school from there at the University of Missouri, which is one of the top journalism schools in the country. But it started for that body of work that I started in June, continued at Muskingum, then went to Missouri, and then I started my career working at uh, different places like the Wall Street Journal and CNBC. And um, the last question would be, so as a, how, how was your experience in Muskingum University, especially since um, we as DOSCOs have been hearing about this university a lot for the, over the past couple of months. Yeah. So how was your experience there and why do you think it's a good fit for DOSCO? It's, it's a great question because, and I think, I've, and it's really brought home over here because you see uh, the similarities. Uh, and the similarities to me are really threefold. One is really the sense of community that uh, you have at Dune as DOSCOs. We have the same sense of community that Muskingum has. It's a very tight-knit community. It's a place where you form relationships that really last a lifetime. And that bond that exists really sets you up for success long term. Because it's a campus-like field, because it has a sense of the relationships you form. Just like here, you, I can see how all the boys interact with their teachers and masters. That same interaction happens at Muskingum. So my advisor, of my, I remember my advisor at the Dune School Weekly was Sumer Singh, and he helped me. My advisor at Muskingum really pushed me to become a journalist. So that relationship that you have is super important. So I'd say the community, the second would be the relationships, and the third would be really the collaboration that exists among the, the your colleagues, your your friends, and the friendships you form, and, the col and that gives you confidence to succeed and confidence to have real critical thinking, to really go on to hopefully be a real professional in a whole, we try to teach the whole self and make the whole human being come to life.